What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Marcel Luxton. Welcome or welcome back to the new Norm channel, your go to for black culture, relationship, and celebrity insight. And today, guys, I got two topics I want to cover. First, we're going to watch a video of black voters in North Carolina skeptical about Biden and Donald Trump. In the second video, we're going to be talking about the um, ban on TikTok, and I'm going to give you all my opinions on both of these topics. So we're going to be watching this first video, man. i like to thank the people who sticking with me. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is your boy Marcel Luxton, man. Um, just, just a little bit before we go, man. I've been putting a lot of work in the background. That's why these videos been giving out. Well, I usually do three videos a week, but I've been only doing one video a week because I've been doing a lot of stuff in the background. I'm working on my website. Y'all go check that out. I'm gonna put that down below too. And y'all just go check me out, man. I'm coming out with a fashion um blog and Check it out down below, man. I'm going to leave my um, Air Jordan um, blog down below, man. But for the culture, let's start, man. Biden, first, like I said, black voters in North Carolina skeptical of both Biden and Trump. Let's watch this NBC News report, and I'm going to give you all my reaction, and then we're going to get to the TikTok story. Tonight, the major warning for both President Biden and former President Trump from a demographic that may prove critical in the 2024 election. Black voters, a new focus group in North Carolina, telling NBC News many of them will not vote for Trump, but they're not thrilled about Biden either, a political phenomenon known as double haters. First thing that comes to mind, President Biden. Old. Bye. Incompetent. I look at him as kind of smug and in entitled. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Donald Trump? Crazy. Ah. He's definitely racist. The NBC News Deciders Focus Group, a collaboration with Engages, Syracuse University, and Sago, finding that despite the black community's historic support for President Biden, these voters now have major reservations. A lot of the things that they say are for blacks and for everybody, but they'll just say it's for blacks in the beginning. I feel like some of this is performative. The panelists at times struggling to name anything President Biden had done for the black community. We all don't go to HBCUs. What are you doing for black students? not just HBCUs. Presented with the White House's messaging on Biden's work for the black community, the group panned his efforts to broadcast his accomplishments. I think that it's all political mumble jumbo. Despite their harsh words for President Biden, most said they would vote for him. The group left some of their most biting criticism for former President Trump. He's sexist, he's delusional, he's old as hell. Oh, I'm sorry, he's very old especially over his recent remarks about the black community. And then I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. That's probably one of the most racist comments he's ever made. It feels like he thinks we're all criminals. It's like an insult. It's <laughs> just like, are you serious? That's what you think of us? What do all you make of some Republican backers of Trump? who say that Trump's marketing of sneakers appeals to black voters. It's like a joke, taking us, taking us, not taking us seriously. President Biden has always massively outperformed Trump among black voters. He polled ahead of Trump by nearly 60% in January's NBC News poll. But compared to where those numbers sat in the 2020 exits, his hold on the black vote is starting to slip. North Carolina, the state these voters call home, is in play in 2024 and could be the difference between re-election and a historic defeat for the president. Now the rise of the double haters raising a critical question. Will the black voters who have been in Biden's corner for years show up for him one more time in the most important election of his life? Yamish joins us tonight from Washington. Yamish, you always learn something when you hear from these focus groups. And we saw there in your piece, voters mentioned being concerned about the ages of both Trump and Biden. But it's been more of a political liability for President Biden so far in this race. Was this group more concerned about one or the other on the age question? 
These voters were certainly more concerned about President Biden's age than former President Trump. Some in the group even said they wondered whether someone else was pulling the strings in the White House because they saw President Biden as too old to lead. And 12 out of the 14 people who participated in this focus group said they voted for President Biden in 2020. Now just nine of them say they would vote for him again. That is worrisome for President Biden because in a tight race, he's going to have he's going to want to really turn out every voter who supported him in 2020 and grow his numbers to ensure a victory. And based on these focus groups, he has a lot of work to do with black voters who are really not that excited about voting for him and feel like really they're just voting against Donald Trump. Tom? Yamish Alcindor for us tonight. Yamish, we always appreciate all your reporting. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated. And that was that one, you guys, man. It seemed like this race is still going to be tight for the pregnancy the presidency, you know what I'm saying? I get tied up on tongue twisted on some of my words sometimes, man. But y'all know how I feel about Donald Trump and Biden by now, man. I don't feel like I'm not happy about either one as a black man in America. I'm not happy about Biden just seeing like he old, he kissing imaginary babies. You done heard me say it a million and one time. And Donald Trump is just not my taste and ain't hit my taste buds, man. But the Donald Trump, the Donald Trump, like I always said before, he is a criminal, man. He, he fighting plenty of charges, man. The only thing that scares me about Donald Trump, to be honest, is his relationship with Russia. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he works for Russia or something like that, man. I don't really know too much into it, so I'm not gonna give a deep dive into it. But Donald Trump is a character. He do make me laugh, man. I believe both of these people, Biden and Donald Trump, are equally racist. <laughs> if you just want my honest opinion, I don't believe they both really care for black folks. They just tolerate black folks because they know they have to need the black vote, man. But none of these people is doing nothing for black people. In the meantime, I feel like we got to watch out for ourselves. We shouldn't be depending on these politicians because... We know they ain't they ain't never been for us, man, and they ain't even seem like they they protecting their own people right now, especially with high, the, the housing crisis. It seems like they care more about the immigrants than us, man. So it's just it's just a crazy time we live in, man. Um, like th that's that's segmenting into the next story, man. Like they care more about banning TikTok <laughs> than they care about us getting anything you guys they can't decide on any bills getting passed man um i heard about this child tax credit bill that would give parents so much so, some extra money they ain't even focus on that they focus more on banning tiktok it seems like man but let's watch the video so i can know more about it man um we gonna get to the nbc bill we gonna get to the nbc bill that could ban TikTok, man, you guys, man. Um, the the title of this one is "Bill That Could Ban TikTok in the U.S. to Be Debated in Congress." So, without further ado, let's watch this one. Tonight, the battle to ban TikTok intensifying in Washington, with House leaders confirming they'll vote next week on a bill that would effectively ban the app, unless it's sold by its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. <laughs> we can't have a foreign-controlled social media app pushing misinformation, certainly not to our children. After the bill was introduced earlier this week, TikTok blasted out this message, urging users to call their members of Congress and demand they vote against it. Sydney Rosiak, who makes her money as an influencer, did just that. What would it mean for you if TikTok were to be banned? First of all, that is my career, so my career would be gone. Lawmakers say their phones rang off the hook. Well, I kind of went into mom mode, right? Because I, I know that TikTok has really weaponized our young people. I took it into my own hands, got on the phone, and tried to explain to our young people why uh, we're doing what we're doing. TikTok's pressure campaign appears to have backfired. In a rare show of bipartisanship, a House committee voted unanimously in favor of the legislation. But this isn't the first time the U.S. has tried to limit TikTok. In 2020, former President Donald Trump attempted to ban the app with an executive order. Last year, TikTok's top executive was grilled on the Hill. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us. We have not provided. Well, you know what? I've asked I, find that that, I find that actually preposterous. Tonight, TikTok saying this will damage millions of businesses and destroy the livelihoods of countless creators. 
Mr. Trump now expressing concerns about the new legislation, saying it could make Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg more powerful, while President Biden says he supports it. If they pass it, I'll sign it. Savannah Sellers, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay up. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys. They, they done... Look like they gonna ban TikTok, man, this time, man. It look like it's finally gonna go through. But I feel like like the little girl said, a lot of people make a living off of TikTok. A lot of people make their money off of this social media type stuff. So they need to find some answers to that, man, because they stopping somebody's payday, man. And I ain't never against nobody not getting no money, man. Um, I think the U.S. think this is a data breach. I don't really think TikTok is that, man. Like, what could they do with our TikTok data that, that will weaponize it against us, man? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that smart or intelligent because I ain't the brightest crown in the coloring book. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know really what, what, what to say about this, man. I just don't think banning TikTok it should not be our main objective. Like, banning TikTok... It's the only thing the government can agree on. I don't feel like that should be the main objective at this point, man. I think we should be focusing on other problems. Like, we having a housing crisis. Like, do something to pass more houses. Why are we more <sighs> about the propaganda from TikTok, man? If you solve the housing problem and get some people some money in their hands, man, I think I think they'll be good, man. I don't think oh, this is crazy, man. I don't really know have too much to say about that, man. But on um, Biden talking about he'll sign it, I don't even think Biden know what a TikTok is, <laughs> like to be honest, man. And Donald Trump with it too. So hey, man, it seemed like TikTok getting out that dough. So y'all TikTok community, you know, need to find something to do with y'all time, man. And um get y'all other social media your social media following over here at youtube or facebook or you know what i'm saying and, and keep the money flowing man you know what i'm saying man we are it's a lot of a majority of people i won't say a majority a minority of people that um make make some money out for social media man and they trying to block a check man i ain't with that man if y'all trying to block a check, y'all should be trying to send a check at the same time. That's what I'm going to say about that, man, you guys, man. Um, with that being said, man, make sure you follow me on TikTok before it get bad, man. <laughs> Go follow me on TikTok, man. Um, check me out, man. I be talking about um, the dating community lately on that, 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 that app right there. But you guys, man, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. I would love to hear y'all thoughts on these two stories, man. Um, show me what y'all think between Donald Trump and Biden. Who are you going for? The election's coming up in November. I think it's November 5th or something like that. I'm not really sure, man. Um, I don't even know who I'm voting for yet, man, or if I'm even going to get out of the couch, man. I'm just going to be honest with y'all, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. Um, the Donald Trump clan, you know, the, drum, the Donald Trump um, coat always comments down below, man. So tell me what the Donald Trump coat has to say. I want to hear it all, man. And this has been your boy, Marcel Luxton, and this has been The New Norm Channel. And this is your boy, Marcel and I'm signing in and signing out. Until next time, you guys. Peace.